G'day everyone, welcome to a quick little summons video I'm going to be doing. Um, this one is focusing on the brand new challenge event that's just spawned in, which is High Noon. Um, I will quickly, before I have a look at some of the heroes, I will go over some of the odds um, on these portals because I think it is always very important to acknowledge what the odds are before you actually jump into these portals. Um, so for this um, portal and all of the other challenge event portals, they have the following appearance rates. So there is a 1% chance for the legendary event heroes. Um, so that's any one of the th three that are in this portal. A 6.1% chance for the epic event heroes. And then uh, 1.5 for a normal legendary, 20.4 for an epic, and 71.0% for a uh, rare hero. So what this means though when we break it all out is with this portal at 1%, uh, it is a very low odds of actually getting anyone useful or anyone specifically from this portal in the five star arena. <coughs> so at 1%, if we're looking for a one specific hero, which I sort of am in this case, um, so we'll use Cooper as the example because he's right there. In order to get Cooper at doing just a single summon, you are looking at a 0.33% chance of getting Cooper. If you do that out to a 10x summon, you're still only getting a 3.28% cumulative probability of getting him. If we go even harder and we did 100 summons on this portal, we'd be looking at get, having a 28% chance, so we're just over 25% likely to get him. Uh, it's not until we're doing 450, 500 summons that we're getting close to uh, three quarters or greater than 75% chance of getting the hero. Um, and you can see there, if we've done 1,000 summons, we're looking at having a 96% chance. So it's even higher in order to get... Um, a 99% chance of getting him. So if we run some maths on that, if we go off um, the American dollar costs of uh, gold in this game, one gold or rather 10,000 gold is approximately equal to 99.99 USD. Um, what that translates to is that every 10x summons you do has a cost associated with it of about $26. Um, so that's the, the cost of the portal. So if you're going to be doing 100 summons, you're looking at a $260 US dollar invent, uh, investment plus then taxes on top of it. So if we're talking about doing 1,000 summons, you know, that's a lot, a lot of money. That, that's, what, $2,600 or so? <coughs> I think that's right. Um, so it's quite a bit of an investment. Um, so I think it is always important to know um, what your expectations are before going into a portal um, and summoning away on them. So the High Noon portal, I think, is actually one of the best places you can summon. Um, it's got some really awesome heroes. So you've got Cooper, who's a five-star sniper. He is probably my favorite hero in the game. Um, I absolutely love him. If you pair him up with 8-bit and you can start rolling his kills, um, he gains 50% charge every time he kills a target with his special skill. Um, and then he also gets 200% additional damage if the target is less than 50%. So basically, if you target a hero with less than 50% HP with Cooper, you kill him, but then you also gain 50% charge towards your next charge, which is insane. So it's then like three tiles, and you've got him charged again, and whack, another hit hero dead. So you can really keep rolling. Uh, White, I think, is another reason to summon in this portal. He is a really, really great uh, four-star healer. Um, he's probably better than a lot of the 5-star healers as well, if we're honest. Um, he does instant heal, but the real kicker for him is that all allies recover a small amount of charge when receiving damage for 3 turns. So what that means is anytime Wyatt or one of his allies with this buff in play, anytime they receive any damage at all, so 1, 2, or whatever, they all receive a little bit of charge. So if you start tossing tiles at an enemy Wyatt, or you start taking minion damage, for example, Wyatt and his allies can really rack up a lot of charge really quickly with this buff. Um, Calamity is a good hero as well. She's a fast DOA 3 hero. I'm not going to focus too much on her. She is solid if you get her well worth leveling. Uh, Vasquez is probably the only disappointment in this portal, um, which is ironic because I seem to manage to summon him um, and not uh, some of the other heroes. So he's not bad bad. He's just not as good as the other ones in this uh, portal. So he still does a fair amount of damage. Um, and then he also does an accuracy element to all enemies. Um, the only downside is his speed is 36 slow. Um, Marigold is the final event hero here. So Marigold, I think, is um, very much worth uh, summoning for as well if you've got uh, some cash you're willing to splash. Um, the main reason is because she's the only hero so far that does uh, elemental defense down against purple. 
um, or or purple tiles and stuff. So what this means is that she's a really powerful hero to use in a um, in a purple stack against a yellow wall machine. Um, she's not as good as say 8-bit because 8-bit does it to all enemies, meaning he retains a lot of his usefulness in the raid arena and stuff. Whereas Marigold only does it for one enemy, um, which does mean that she is a bit more limited in the raid arena side of things. So I've got a fair amount of gold and a lot of challenge event coins. I'm probably only going to do 20 summons this time around, um, which I know does not give me very good odds. It gives me about 6% chance of getting Marigold, um, but I'm just going to set my budget at 20 summons, and then after that we'll um, call it quits. So we'll start off with 10 challenge coin summons. So we've got another Vittoria. Boomer. Magnus, Wallace, Greco, so so far no event heroes, a um, couple four star heroes. It's not actually a bad, this one's not a bad summons if you're taking it from the perspective of um, a newish player. Um, there was a good amount of four star heroes, unfortunately none that I'm going to keep. Um, I've got a couple copies of each of these in my roster already, so... <coughs> little unfortunate start. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. I'd like some event heroes at least. Teller. It's not looking promising. Lucky glass. No, oh, we got a five star hero at least. Alright. Well, I got Banshee, um, better than nothing I suppose, um, it is a little annoying when you think back to those summon odds because Banshee had a 1.5% chance of getting a vanilla 5 star hero, um, so it's not really that much different to getting an event one, um, but unfortunately no dice this time round. Um, yeah, we'll just have to keep holding out hope to get Marigold some other way or some other day. So that's it for this video. Um, good luck with your own summons and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye.